and girls, welcome back to Olivia Studio. Have you ever wondered how the world started using machines in producing regular items like food, clothes, and even tools? Stay tuned to learn about the period that greatly affected the way people worked and lived, the Industrial Revolution. The first wave of the Industrial Revolution lasted from about 1760 to sometime between 1820 and 1814. The biggest changes came in the industries in the form of mechanization and was focused primarily on water and steam power. By the end of the 17th century, an Englishman named James Watt invented and perfected the steam engine that could run factory machines. This machine has been used in the industry and began to do jobs that the workers used to do. The creation of the new steam engine paved the way to new inventions such as the first railway steam locomotive by inventor Richard Trovisic in 1804 and the first commercially successful steamboat invented by Robert Fulton in 1807. It also industrialized textile manufacturing and transitioned the production from homes to factories. The textile industry was also the first to use modern production methods. A century after the end of the first industrial revolution, the world went through the second one, known as the technological revolution, that took place from 1870 to 1914. The massive technological advancements in different fields led to the rise of new sources of energy from electricity, gas, and oil. While the first industrial revolution centered on textile manufacturing and the innovation of the steam engine, the second industrial revolution focused instead on steel production, communication, and advances in electricity that led to the introduction of the public automobiles and airplanes. During this phase, large factories began to use more technologies and methods to mass produce goods such as assembly lines which effectively power mass productions. A lot of major inventions were made during this period that started some of the inventions we are still using to this day. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Thomas Edison and Joseph Swan finally perfected the design of the light bulb in 1879. German inventor Karl Benz patented the world's first automobile in 1886. But by the early part of the 20th century, Henry Ford Company mass produced a groundbreaking car with a gasoline engine built on the assembly line in his factories. Nikola Tesla invented the alternating current electrical power system that became the dominant power system of the 20th century. It was because of these innovations that the second industrial revolution was considered to have ushered us in the modern world. The next wave of innovation was the third industrial revolution from 1970 until 2010, also known as the digital revolution. The transition from mechanical and electrical technology to digital electronics resulted in the widespread use of digital computers that has brought us to this day. So far, we have seen the automation of the production, consuming electronics, information technology, telecommunications, and the internet. With these revolutionary developments, the revolution opened the doors to space expeditions, research, and biotechnology. In the middle of the 20th century, another energy resource was discovered, the nuclear energy. Things that used to be analog have been converted to digital technology. Like an old TV we used to tune in with an antenna being replaced by an internet-connected one that lets us stream movie in a digital platform. At present, this phase is progressing at a breakneck speed, led by Samsung, Apple, and Google alike. We are now entering the fourth industrial revolution in which robotics, artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, the Internet of Things, 3D printing, quantum computing, nanotechnology, and biotechnology are changing our concept of both life and consciousness.
With emergent technology breakthroughs in different fields, the pace of change is only going to get quicker. The trajectory of this phase of human development must wait for future historians to write. And that was it for today's topic. By knowing what the Industrial Revolution was all about, we'll be able to better understand how things work today and in the near future. Thank you again for joining me in another episode of Olivia Studio. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for new interesting topics. See you on my next one!